And also, Dr. Malika, we have a viewer question from David in Marlboro. He writes, I read about a study that said older men who sleep for less than six hours a night and then nap for one hour or more during the day are actually likely to have a higher mortality rate. I certainly fit that description. So should I be concerned? So I looked it up. That study was actually from back in 2013. But there was a study this year conducted by Harvard and Mass General researchers that looked at more than 85,000 middle-aged and older adults. And they found that longer daytime naps, greater variability in the length of the naps, and napping in the early afternoon were associated with a higher risk of death. Now, that doesn't mean that the napping itself is actually causing people to die. For example, people who take longer daytime naps may have insomnia or fragmented sleep or sleep apnea at night, which have all been associated with poorer health outcomes. Other research has suggested that short daytime naps, like 30 to 90 minutes, may provide some brain benefits in older adults. So my advice would be to actually work on getting, again, that high quality sleep every night to improve your overall health, and that short naps in the mid-afternoon are probably just fine. Okay, thank you for bringing that into perspective for us and for David. You're welcome. If you have any type of medical question for Dr. Malika, well, we want to hear from you. You can reach out to her on Facebook at Dr. Malika Marshall or email her at drmalika at cbs.com. Lisa? All right, Courtney, doctor, thank you.